I left town for two weeks to go do some shows. And when I came home, it was night and day. They picked me up at the airport. He jumps out of the car and he's holding the door open like he's valet. And I get in the car. I look at my girl. What's going on? He thinks you're still mad at him, so he's being extra good. We're gonna ride this out. And the whole drive home, he's doing that little song in the back seat. I'm gonna clean my room, I'm gonna take out the trash, I'm gonna walk the dog, I'm gonna do the dishes. And when we got home, he did all of it. And I was like, wow. And then we're passing each other in the hallway. And as we're passing each other, he sticks out his arm, bro. And he tapped me. And he keeps walking and I go, excuse you. And he goes, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, let me take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a decent person. I'm not great, I'm not horrible, I'm decent, okay? Anybody who's ever met me in the past or will meet me in the future, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I know what's in my heart. I'm a nice person. And if I'm being nice to you and you're mean to me, I'll still be nice. But if you're mean to me a second time, I don't care who it is. I could be one of you guys. It could be one of my friends in the back or it could be the new dependent on my taxes. You mess with me, I'm gonna mess with you back and I'm gonna step it up a notch so you don't forget. Everybody's quiet, all the kids are like, I don't wanna meet him now. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Next morning, I was in my son's room and I'm standing over his bed. It's five o'clock in the morning and I'm just watching him sleep. I know it looked creepy like the movie. <laughs> And I'm just thinking, what am I gonna do to get even, right? And I look over and I see his alarm clock, and I'm like, perfect. Just so you guys understand, it's his job to wake himself up for school. And he knows if he's late because he didn't set that clock, his mom is gonna have his ass. He's afraid of his mom for good reason. So I grab that clock and I change the time from 5 a.m. to 7.30. It gets better, then I set it off. And I grabbed him. And he wakes up all scared. Ah, 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 ah. Look, look, you overslept. Look, you overslept. And he freaked out. Oh my God. Ah. Shh. I'm gonna help you. And I started handing him his clothes. Here, get dressed, get dressed, put your clothes. He's getting dressed in the dark. He looks like a little drunk. Your children. And I grab him and I drag his ass into the garage. His whole face is oily and sweaty. He's got rocks and crust in his eyes. He has a perfect white line going all the way to the back of his neck. As soon as I get him in the car, falls asleep. I jump in and I take him to school. We get to his school. The sun is barely coming out. There is not a kid for miles. As soon as we get by the office, I slammed on the brakes to wake him up. And he went, oh, Frankie, the bell just rang, hurry. The last kid went in, you're gonna make it, go, go, hurry, go. Oh, okay, thank you, all right, I love you. It was Sunday.